Oh, if it was probably here to review the Ultraman Trigger DX Guts Hyper Key Ultraman Z Original. So this is the key that um, Haruki and Zet gain when they first appeared in Trigger. Obviously, as you can see here, here's Zet Original. Phrases and compatibility with Gut Spark Lens. Like that, this is a definitely a lot lighter shade of blue than Sky Type. And obviously the compatibility that it has. So let's take it out. So here we have the Hyper Key out. So obviously um, the color, again, apologize for the shading, but um, it's a really neat, like, like dark cyan. <laughs> like, it's just a really interesting color. And I think it does work with, like, especially how... You know, you could remember the LED color, the Z riser. Obviously, here we have the mosaic illustration of Z original U04. Then here's the track B013. And now for the sounds. So there we get the activation, however we get an additional sound. Which is the summoning of the hero gate, which is pretty cool because um, that's pretty accurate to um, the show. Obviously we still have sound mode. And the pattern will be similar to Tiga as obviously this is a non-trigger hyper key. Now let's use this with the spark ones. Obviously in spark ones or hyper gun mode. Woohoo! <laughs> Obviously, we get the tag name. Pew, 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 pew. Transformation. <laughs> That's also one of the things I forgot to mention with the Zet Riser. So basically, because of the power switch being here, obviously when you like, you know, your finger will sometimes move. Sometimes you will accidentally switch it off. Obviously, it doesn't remember that you inserted the key. So as you can hear, um, the standby is the same as Tiga, however, uh, Zet has his own standby as Zet himself will actually uh, command you to chant his name, which is 
pretty cool. <laughs> and obviously after the transformation, his light coordination is different because it actually just like trigger goes through the main colors, or the primary colors of each of his forms. So obviously the original is light blue, Alpha Edge is blue, Beta Smash is red, Gamma Future is purple, Delta Rise Claw is yellow, and then it will go back to the color of the form, which in this case obviously is light blue for original. Obviously, just like Tiga, he has four sounds. And Spark Lens mode. We'll do that again <laughs> because I forgot to show something, which is that you don't need to wait for Zet to tell you to chant his name. If this actually wants to read. Obviously, it's the exact same. And because we can do this now, we can bring in circle arms and turn it on. <laughs> so if it goes to sleep, just press the trigger again. So I'm using the sky arrow because it's the closest to the Zetlance arrow. <laughs> I don't, I shouldn't have done that, but anyways, um, yeah, overall, so my thoughts on the, you know, my thoughts overall on this key is that it's probably the most fun one out of the, you know, out of what we have as of now. It's on par to Tiga, that just, I just like how they, you know, essentially compiled sounds, compiled, like, you know, the sounds together just to make it work with the spark lens and such. Although definitely like the standby, I'm surprised. What the heck is happening? Why is this becoming more yellow? Like I'm surprised that um, the standby was actually original. But I guess I understand because that original doesn't have much sounds because it was barely utilized from. I don't know. I'm two years. I haven't watched that. <laughs> Again, I'm only four episodes in Taiga, but um. So, like, you know, I, I like how this one is, like, an in-between, like, new and old sounds. But I definitely do. I think having Zet programmed already in the Gut Spark lens is actually pretty cool. <laughs> like, that's just a neat thing, honestly. Because, again, that will be a thing you expect with an a premium Bandai set. Obviously, we will actually surprisingly get to that. <laughs> um, but, um, I think it's just because of the fact... Gosh darn it. I guess, I think it's literally just because of the fact that Zet was the last series. And for him to already get, to actually get something within Trigger in show is pretty neat in itself. And it, you know, it, it works differently from how Zet stuff originally worked. So the play pattern of Zet within Trigger is just very unique in itself. So it's just, it's just a very fun key overall. Obviously, because it is Zet, this one is a bit more challenging, or it's it's going to cost you a bit more to get this one. I think at best, at minimum, this will be like eight to ten dollars. But again, it's a retail one, so it shouldn't hurt as much. But yeah, that'll have to do this review. So um, there's a power, and I'll leave you people.